Uh, okay guys, uh, welcome back. Uh, I'm just going to do up another quick little video uh, showing you guys how to just work with your virtual machine. Uh, virtual machine is a bit of a weird concept for a lot of people, but you, you want to think about it like a program that pretends to be a computer inside your computer that lets another computer run in there. So once you have a virtual machine going, as far as everything else is concerned, you got two different computers running. They just happen to be running on the same piece of equipment at the same time. Sounds a bit weird, but trust me, um, you will get used to it. So, um, once we start off our, uh, our VirtualBox uh, program, we need to just select the operating system uh, or the virtual machine that we want to run. In our case, we're going to go with the Fedora 16 uh, install that you guys pulled down already. Uh, I want to say start. That's going to bring up a dialog box that just gives me a little bit of information. It tells me that the right control key is my host key, so that's if uh, my virtual machine stops responding and I can't get my mouse out of the virtual machine, I uh, hit that particular key, so the right control key, and it'll give me control of my mouse back again so I can get back to my, uh, my host operating system, in my case my Windows operating system. All right. This reminds us that the right control key is the key. So now our system is starting. Again, this is the way Linux loads up. Uh, a little bit different than the way uh, Windows does a lot of time. You just have to wait for it to load. Now, at this point, we're going to be able to log in to Linux as one of the three users that we have created. Now, keep in mind, um, one of the users is called is the super user. is not going to appear on this particular uh, list that we get. Uh, you do see owner and Edward B. Edward B is just there, so if something weird happens, I can kind of go in and uh, set some stuff up if I got to. Uh, the owner one is the one you guys are going to be using most often. It won't let you log in as the super user uh, to this particular spot. So you're not able to be the super user with the uh, Windows display. Uh, to log in, all I have to do is just click on my uh, name that I want to log in as and pump in the password. Then we log in. Usually takes a couple of seconds for this to uh, to kick off before it'll give us our menus and and things. Uh, the one gotcha you will get is uh, when you do go to add a new user, which is something we'll do later. When that user goes to log in, it might take a couple of minutes for that to happen, but we don't have to worry about that for a while yet. Um, now, if you didn't want to log into the graphical user interface, like using the left control key alt and F2 here I can log in as the um, uh, brain just turned off on me. Uh, here I can log in as the super user so if I want to log in the super user and log in here root password zero one notice when you're putting your password in this particular spot that you don't see anything that's by design so it just doesn't show any entries at all for the password so you can't guess how many characters or, or someone's typed or anything so if I want to go back to my Windows version I go control alt F1 again remember the right uh, the left control not the right control button and if I want to go back to my terminal entry it's uh, control alt F2 I can go all the way up to Control Alt F6, um, and I can have a different person logged in at each of these con controls. Now, the one thing you'll find out when you uh, go to do this is if you have someone logged in at one of the other controls, 
uh, shutting down your system is not going to work the way you expect. Because normally you can go in, you can just shut down your system here. Like uh, you click on your name, go down to shut down the system, and uh, it'll ask if you want to shut it down or not. I'll say okay, let's shut it down. And because someone else is logged in, it's not letting you shut it down. So we can cancel that. But because you said for it to shut down, it's probably going to log you out. Okay, so you've been logged out here now. Um, I'll just quickly log back in. All right. Now, while that logs in, I can come back over here. If I log out as a root user, then come back over to here, I should be in. But this is the one little spot where things do glitch every now and again. And when they do, I have to go back in as the root user. Actually, no, I'm not going to do it that way. I'm going to come back over here. Um, so if that does happen to you, just go Control Alt and hit Backspace. And that usually fixes your problem. If it doesn't, then go Control Alt F2 and log in as a root user. Um, password. And now we'll just do a. Uh, I can run a shutdown command from here, and it'll give me a warning to say that um, shutdown schedule. Uh, I need to kind of. I'm supposed to give it a parameter, so it'll tell me when the, the shutdown is scheduled for, uh, which is Monday, the 9th, 22.59. So that's in about one minute. So the default time for this particular setup is a minute. Uh, once that happens, if I want to stop that from happening, I can do shutdown minus shutdown minus C. That cleared my shutdown. If I wanted to shut down right away, minus H now, that's going to shut me down altogether. All right, um, there we go. So we'll start her up again right quick. Only got about a minute of video capture time left here, so and I think we'll be okay. Um, so at this point, all uh, I'm going to do is I'm going to log back in, just show you how to shut down works um, outside of having to go into the other side to uh, to type it. And if that gives me a problem, I'm going to tell you the password to pump in. Come on. All right. We'll be playing against the clock here, I think. All right. So after a couple of seconds, we're logged back in. Come on. All right, we just click on owner, shut down, and we say shut down. 
And at this point, it just logs us out and we're good to go. Thanks a lot. Talk to you guys another time. Bye for now.